I'm Lieutenant Suzanne Patlis of the Mi'kmaq Warrior Society and I'm from the Mi'kmaq Territory. It's evident that the Canadian security and Canada deems Indigenous people in general as a threat to national security and they see development in the oil and gas industry as critical and that's what they call it, critical infrastructure and they think that it's what Canada needs to be able to move forward as a so-called nation. So they see anybody who stands up against these developments as a threat. If they don't give us veto over these infrastructure development and if they don't listen to the Indigenous people's voice, the Indigenous people are going to rise up. They're going to take to the streets. They're going to take to the railroads. They're going to take to the roads. They're going to blockade. They're going to set up camps. It's kind of harder to infiltrate within like the Indigenous communities because our Indigenous communities are so connected and when we like talk to one another, we don't want to know what you do. We want to know about your family. We want to know about uh, where you come from, who you are. It's a built-in block where we're not going to give you all of our information. Like we might be nice to you and say hello, and you may feel like you're part of something, but actually you're still on the outside of it. We're warriors. We've been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years prior to Canada even being in existence. We had this one guy come in and he came in on four different occasions. He came in as a journalist, he came in as a militia, then he came in bringing donations and then he tried to approach us as being a international lawyer. So he was just bringing things in that were not wanted and that we weren't supposed to have, that we'd never even asked for. He was trying to create a situation where our people will be criminalized for the things that he brought in. and. Once the men were already arrested after the raid, he was approached by several members of the Warrior Society and he was told that we know you're an agent, you need to get out of here.